In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a dice using SketchUp. Okay, so this is what we're going to be modeling today, something similar to this. Uh, dice is fairly simple, just a cube with some rounded corners there and little circles that have been indented to create the black numbers. Alright, so jump, jump into SketchUp online, click on the dude in the middle of the page and delete him. And we're going to start by drawing a square, which is using the rectangle tool. I'm going to start in the origin, drag it out to 100 by 100, which is 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters, which is a bit bigger than your usual dice. That's 10 centimeter sides on the dice. And there is a reason I'm doing that. Um, SketchUp doesn't like rounding off the corners of very small shapes. Um, so a dice is a very small shape. So I'm going to start by scaling up and making a bigger dice. And then once we're finished um, doing a majority of the work, we're going to scale it back down to its actual size. Alrighty, so I've got this 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter square on the page that we are going to then pull up using the push pull tool, a um, hundred millimeters as well. So we get that perfect cube shape. Okay, that's basically a dice right there. And what we're going to do is just put some numbers onto it now using um, the circle tool. Now to get these numbers in their exact positions, we need to use some guides. I call them construction lines. Now these lines can be drawn onto the face of the dice and just deleted once we've finished using them. So I just use the line tool to draw them. I'm going to start on this front face and do the number one. And I'm just going to hover around the top here with my line tool until it turns light blue to show me I've hit the midpoint. And I'm going to draw a line straight through the center from the top to the bottom of that face. I'm then going to go to my extended toolbox by clicking the three little dots at the bottom of the toolbox there and selecting the circle tool. C is the shortcut for the circle tool, so get used to that today. And if you hover down this construction line, you'll see it turn blue when you get to the middle, which is the midpoint. And just click and drag out a one uh, millimeter circle. Actually, it's going to be 10. My mistake. I forgot we're in a bigger mode here. So make it 10 millimeters. And that is your first um, number done. What you need to do is grab your eraser now by pressing the letter E or selecting it from your toolbox and just click and drag over the construction lines that you no longer need. And there's the number one on your dice. We'll color it in and make it look good shortly, uh, but for now we'll just keep doing the other sides. Now something, I guess some useless trivia that you may not know about dice is that when you've got one face here, such as the number one, the face opposite that must add up to equal seven. So if I go around to the back of the dice, opposite the number one here, I need the number six, because that's going to add up to seven. So what I'm going to do here is draw in six little dots. Okay, a bit of a trick here. I'm going to use construction lines again. First up, I'll find the midpoint and just run a line straight down that. And then if I hover between the midpoint and the end of that face, you'll see another midpoint line appear. So I'm going to draw that on either side. Okay, and it's down those outside lines where I want to draw my three circles. Now, I do want to get one line through the middle here as well. Okay, so I probably should have started on one side, but there we go. And that's where I can start drawing my first bunch of circles. Oops, I don't need to do one in the middle. I need to come out to these outside lines and make some one, uh, not one, 10 millimeter circles. Getting a bit confused in this um, scaled up view of the dice. Okay, once you've got those two middle circles done, hover up above them and you'll see another midpoint dot appear, which will allow you to do another 10 mil circle, and then do the same down the bottom. Click and drag out some 10 mil circles. Perfect. Press E for your eraser and start erasing those construction lines. You can click and drag over lots of lines at once if you would like, just to help you save a bit of time. Less clicking. There's your first two faces done, one and six. Next one's around the side here, so just around to the right of the number one, we're going to do the number two. Grab your line tool by pressing the letter L, just draw a line from one corner to the other, and also find the midpoint and just draw a line up to the top there. Now grab your circle tool, find the midpoint on that diagonal line and drag out a 10 mil circle. Do the same in the bottom corner there. And use your eraser to get rid of any excess lines that you don't need. So opposite the number two, we're going to need the number five. So it adds up to seven. So let's do the number five over this side. We'll need quite a few construction lines again. Well, not too many. One going from that corner. 
one going to that corner. Grab your circle tool, hover over the middle and start with the 10 mil circle in the middle. And then just go along each of those lines on the diagonal, adding in 10 mil circles on the midpoints. Remember your midpoint will always highlight light blue when you hit it, and it usually snaps your mouse to it as well to make life easy. Once you're done there, grab your eraser by pressing the E on your keyboard and start erasing those construction lines that we no longer need. All right, that's all done. Looking on top of the dice, we're going to go with the number four now. Number four is not too hard to do. We'll grab the line tool and set up some construction lines here. Um, I've probably done a few too many here, actually. But that's okay. We can rub them all out in a minute. I'm going to need one through the middle as well here. So it's on those intersections that we need to put the four circles. So let's see how this looks when I do that. quite a few construction lines here so I probably did go a little bit overboard but I think we did need them in the end there we go so just grab the letter E start deleting all those construction lines that you no longer need a little bit painful because we did so many of them but it doesn't take too long to get rid of them there's our fours which means the last number we need to do on the bottom of the dice is the number three so Three is pretty easy. It's another line going from one corner to the other. And I don't think we need to find any more, uh, draw any more construction lines. Just start in the middle and then just go out from there. Oh, that was a bit too big. Try that again. There you have it. We've now got all our little dots in now. Oops, we do need to uh, make these dots look a little bit better than what they are. I need to color them, and what I'm going to do is also indent them a little bit. And this is a bit of a tedious process. I'm sure there's quicker ways to do it, but um, I don't know them off the top of my head, so let's just go with what I know. I'm going to grab the push-pull tool, and I'm going to push the first dot in. Um, I'm going to make it go in... Whoa. 2.5 I think I'll make it, so I'm just trying to work this out at a larger scale, so go in 2.5 millimeters and go around to each of your dots doing that, 2.5, 2.5, so I'm just clicking on the face, pushing in and typing 2.5, as I said a little bit tedious going around doing that to all the dots, you'll be right, you'll get there. It's only going to take me about a minute, I reckon, to do all this. Oh. Yeah, the last ones are on top here. Alright, so once you've got that done, uh, it does look pretty good, but the last thing we need to do is colour those dots in. So grab your paint tool, which is that little paint bucket there, I'll press the letter B. Um, now you've got different colours you can use for your dice, if you want just go with a classic black and white, but if you would like to change it up, by all means go to this little magnifying glass here and browse through the different colours. Okay, I'm just going to stick with the black and white, keep things simple, and simply click inside of each of those dots to colour them in. Get underneath there as well. All right, so that's looking pretty good, isn't it? Last thing I want to do now is just round off the corners, like I mentioned before. So we made our large scale dice. If we round off these corners, we'll then be able to scale it down. So to round off these corners, I'm going to grab a tape measure tool here. Letter T is the shortcut for that. And I'm going to start in a corner and I'm going to go down five millimeters from that corner and press enter. Click in this corner and go up to the left, press five and press enter. That gives you two little markers um, that can be used to round off this corner. To round it off, you need to use the two-point arc tool. Okay, 
zoom in here so you can see this a bit clearer. Hopefully you can see those two little markers I've got. If I hover over them, I should be able to click on one of the guides, go across and click on the other guide, then come to around the center somewhere and just lift your mouse up a little bit and you will start to get an arc following you. I might need to just turn to a different angle here. Once you get to about there, click. And that's the arc you're looking for. Okay, we can then, if I zoom back a bit here, grab the push pull tool, grab that face and just pull it down and it will just wipe it off your design completely. And that gives you that rounded corner. You can see the little um, tape measure lines there that you can get rid of with the eraser tool as well. Okay, that looks really good. So let's go over and do the other corners now the exact same way. If you think you know what you're doing, by all means skip ahead. Otherwise, follow along. I'm going to grab the tape measure again. Come out to the right, 5, and press Enter. Go out to the left, 5, and Enter. Oops, that didn't work. Not sure why that isn't working there. There we go. I might do all the corners at once now, and then we'll do all the arcs at once as well. So go up to this corner, 5. Oops, and 5. And then the final corner. 5, Enter, 5, Enter. Okay, now I'm going to grab the two-point arc tool, just press the letter A, whoops, to get that, and start joining these dots up. Okay, there's one. can be a little bit fiddly, so it might be easy to zoom in a little bit. Oh, there it is. And finally over to this corner. Perfect. Now it's just a matter of push pulling them all down. So pull it down. Oops, you don't go all the way to the bottom. Just go around and pull it all the way to the bottom. There's another one. Pull it all the way down. I've got one more corner here to go, I think. Grab it, pull it down, and you've now got your perfectly rounded off edges. So that's looking good. Last thing to do is just scale it down. So triple click on your um, dice with the select tool. So one, two, three, selects it all. Grab your scale tool, which is over here. Letter S is the shortcut. And just grab a corner and start scaling it down. You'll see in the bottom right corner the scale. 0 0.5 is half the size. We want to go down to 0 0.1 and press enter. Actually, I've buggered that up. Let me just do that again. Zero point one, enter, and there is our dice. Okay, it's now got one centimeter sides, and you have finished. Make sure you save that onto OneDrive if you can. Save as, purge all, and save it onto your OneDrive, and you are finished.